Taxidermy supplies you can find at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is great for the little things. I use this acrylic ink to tint the glue when I do ears. You can find every shade of acrylic and oil paints here. These little bottles are great for lacquer thinner and other liquids. Every kind of paintbrush you could ever want. I personally like these little wide flat ones. You can find a decent airbrush here, but they don't have a lot of airbrush paints. This little tool is in the leather section. I use this for taxiing the skin around. It's like a little poker. This jute cord is great for the back of pedestals. They also have a lot of cool cow hides and a lot of other cool fabric that are great for the back of pedestals too. This faux tooled leather is literally what I use on the back of pedestals. This cowhide print would look so cool on the back of a pedestal. You can find all types of glue, super glue, glue guns. I use gloss and matte Mod Podge a lot for finish work. And you can get air dry clay here too. It's not like the best quality clay, but it's good for filler stuff and even earbuds. This little pack of sculpting tools. I like this little spoolie for grooming. I use this one a lot, and this one I actually use as a lip tucker. And mold builder, this is what I peel off the eyes. A lot of this greenery is really flowery, but you can actually find some really nice habitat stuff. You have to kind of hunt through these fake plants to see if they look realistic or not, but like that fern and this pine tree, I think they look pretty real. Some of this dry stuff is actual real dried plants. It would look good in like a fall scene and like this wheat, that would look good too. I don't know what I would do with this, but this looks real to me. This tree looks pretty realistic to me if you had a big habitat scene. They have all kinds of little desert looking plants, little cacti. You can get packs of moss here. This stuff is actual real dried moss. You can find packs with lichen in them too in different varieties. Adding moss to a habitat like all over rocks is a great way to make it look realistic. This is a fake rosemary, but I could see this in a scene. It looks like a little bush. They have all kinds of grasses and you never have to worry about it yellowing because it's plastic. Same with this fern. I think it looks pretty realistic. I could see this little weed bush thing being in some kind of habitat. You can get pine cones here too. You might be wondering why would you buy pine cones when you can just get them outside? Well, if you don't live in an area with pine trees, you can get them here. 